All right, today we're working with the uh, 2005 Chevy Kodiak GMC, all the same. The uh, front brake system on it. Let me flip this camera around. Okay, pretty much uh, these are actually really, really easy. Uh, this would be a brake. Oh, I did. Let's take a screwdriver. Let me get some light in there. There's little notches in there like at my fingertip. There you go, now you can see that one. And I just pried these back. In here. And this is a four piston. One, two, three, and four. One side at a time, I went ahead and pried back these pads going in the outward on this side and going on the outward on this side. This single plate right here is a 5 8 thought it would be metric, but it's actually a 5 8 And, uh, yeah, basically, you undo that one bolt. This piece folds out, comes right out. The brake kit comes with a brand new one. I normally like to put a little bit of uh, brake grease lubricant whatever you want to call it so be it right here in the middle on the new pads i was going to take this video actually previous but there's that slot right here in brand new brakes i just take this little guy right here run a bead I, I make sure i push it in i don't think you can really see it in here not really but, uh, yeah, long story short, you press these pads out all the way. I normally do them all the way. And then pull this plate out with this one five eighths. These slide right out. These are actually some of the simplest brakes I've ever done in my life. <laughs> so, I can't complain. Slide them out. Slide your brand new ones in on the inside and outside. They all slide right in. Put your new plate back on. Slide this in the little, little hole right here, a little notch set up for it. Tighten back up your 5 8 Put it back together. And each side, I will normally uh, hop back in the cab, hit the brake pedal, hit the brakes a couple times to bleed the fluid black, back in. There's a lot of a lot of fluid that this four caliper system or two caliper four piston system holds. Uh, made simple and short. I uh, push the brake pedal a couple times to get one side at a time. After I do one side, I pump the brakes back up, and then I go to the other side of the vehicle. This is the driver's side. Yeah, when I got done with this, I hit the brakes. And uh, compress them back down to get the fluid back out into the system. So we don't overload or overfill. Have it running out of the cap of the brake reservoir. But they're very simple. Very easy to do. Uh, I like to anti-seize all my bolts before I put them back on. They do take a 32... Oh, excuse me. A 30 millimeter socket. For the lug nuts on this, it's got eight of them. Make sure they're on there good, fellas. And, uh, yeah, there's your brake system. 2005 Chevy Kodiak C4500. Thanks for watching. And, uh, yeah, any questions, feel free to send me an email or anything like that. Uh, matter of fact, let me add this in as well. I use Napa for a lot of my parts. We got a Fleet Pride. FT7636 and uh, another thing quickly on this as well is the back takes the same pads as the front so there you go thanks for watching